it's customary in this house to stand for the reading of the word. Uh, but yes, we're going to go on and stand at this time. Respect for the word of the Lord against St. Luke chapter 15. We're going to start at verse 11. Y'all don't know me that well, so I'm going to read the verse for myself, amen. Maybe over time, I may get a reader eventually in the future. Amen. St. Luke chapter 15, verse 11. Amen. It's in the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke. Amen. Praise God. St. Luke chapter 15, verse 11. Amen. Amen. And it reads, again, St. Luke. Chapter 15, verse 11. And it reads, And he said, A certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his, li his living. Verse 13, And not many days after, the young son gathered all together, and he took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. Somebody say he wasted it. Wasted. All right. And when he had spent it all, there he arose. There arose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. Uh -huh. Verse fifteen. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he began. He sent him in. And he sent him into his fields to feed the swine. Funny, he went from not having to work in royalty to now you got to work a job, but not just any job, but the lowest of the lowest of the jobs on that one. All right. Verse 17. I'm sorry, verse 16. And he would fain have his belly fill his belly with the husk and the swine did eat. And no man gave on to him. He got so low that he had to eat among the swine. Lord, have mercy. When you fall out of order and fall out of place with God, there is no limit to how low you can get. But when you put God back in place, there is no limit to how high you can reach. I'm trying to stay within the confines of the scripture because I feel something. There's a supernatural anointing that exists in this pulpit. And something will begin to happen to you when you call on the name of Jesus. And he says, and he went and he came to himself, verse 17. And he said, how many hired servants of my father have bread enough to spare? That means my God has plenty and I'm here in lack and I perish with hunger. Verse 18, he says, I will arise and go unto my father. And he will say unto him, Father, I have sinned heaven and before thee and no more worthy am I to be called thy son anybody ever stepped so far on the line that you felt like you can't even ask God for a pin drop anybody ever felt so far on the place you feel like it's all hope is lost and well the prodigal son in this text here and those who study will know that's what we're talking about by this point he got to a point where he felt like God won't hear him Maybe you all have not been there before. It's all right. It's just me. <laughs> so he says, he's no longer worthy to be called the son of God. He says, make me as a hired servant. Verse 20, and he arose and came unto his father. But when he was a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto his father, I have sinned against thee and in thy sight, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the, the best robe and put it on him, and put on his hand a ring and his feet. Somebody clap your hands and give God praise. May God add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his word for the good edification of our soul. If I had a word to share with you on today from the text, it would simply be, having tried all, now I say yes. Amen. 
Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for this, your man servant. God, we thank you for this, your house of worship. Lord, we ask that you move through this place. Lord, decrease the flesh, Lord, and let your glory have its way. Decrease me, increase you, Lord. Let the word go forth that will deliver and change, even the now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And for the next 20 minutes, I want to again work the topic, having tried all. Now I say yes. yes. You may be seated at that time. Get it out of praise. Amen. Yeah. Well, let me go on and talk about myself a little bit. We're going to align that with the scripture. And we're going to go on and get ready to close. That's hemoretics and preaching 101. We you do your personal relation, scripture relation. You do your close and we're gone. Anyway, <laughs> having tried all, now I say yes. Now this man here, the prodigal son, this is the, uh, this is the story, this is the parable that is being spoken of here. He uh, belonged to a royal family, amen, and his daddy had it very well. I mean, he didn't have like a couple thousand, and this in today's time wouldn't be a couple thousand dollars or a, couple, a few hundred thousand. It'd be more like millions or billions of dollars. Yeah. Very, very wealthy. Yeah. And how many of you know when, when your spirit ain't right and your mind ain't right, you can have all the money and still be miserable? Yes, yes. Uh, maybe I'm just preaching to myself. That's all right. And and so funny, he 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 didn't know. God, I know. I know. Sometimes we preach this to our kids and to our loved ones and family members all the time. He had no clue who his family was and had no clue who was loving on him. And in any case, just like some of us, at some points, we can show the love to our family members and our loved ones and relationships as much as we can. But some of them ain't gonna understand what they got until we let them go. Come on. That's all right. And so the father was operating within principle. He, he, he said, you know what? You want to go? <laughs> all right. And then go and take your way and go on and get. And God bless you. Have a smile on me. Have you ever felt that way about somebody in your life before? <laughs> Amen. Nonetheless, he went on. He went on. Spent all he had. Spent all he had. I know some regulations about uh, inheritances and insurance policies. Some people recommend that certain folks shouldn't get anything until they turn 25, 35, 45, 50. And there's a reason. Because if you, you get handed your inheritance a little too soon, and if you don't have the Holy Ghost and if you don't have the Lord on your side, you'll do all kind of foolish things. Amen. And before you know it, then what was supposed to be your blessing ended up being your curse. Amen. So in any case, having tried all, now I say yes. I hope you have y'all attention for about another 19 minutes, and I promise you, we're going to be in and out. So the prodigal son had to come to himself. He said, you know what? I had it like this while I was at home. I had it like that. And while I was subject to the will of my father, funny, as soon as I stepped out of line, I went from having plenty to having to eat him off the swine. Now, I'll, I'll let me go Damon, St. Damon, Damon, verse 101. I went in obedience. I was making $50,000 a year, no, $60,000 a year in obedience. Got on the line, stepped out the will of the Lord, went from making $60,000 a year to making $8 an hour. And we're talking about since 2014. And if those of you know anything about economics and about survival in this time, $8 an hour. <laughs> And you know, and it's, just, it's, it's amazing how stay in the will of the Lord, things get in order. Stay out the will of the Lord, everything falls apart. <laughs> Having tried all, now I say yes. He says that he went and spent all that he had. He probably was, they didn't have casinos at the time, but he probably was out gambling, out buying drinks, and out doing all kinds of things, spending up all the money. And he couldn't quite figure out what it was that was wrong that was causing him to be a continued lack. Well, when you get out of order and out of will with God, everything that you touch won't work. But it's in the instant that you begin to hand it over to the Lord that things will begin to get in order. Trust in the Lord with all of thy heart and lean not to thine own understanding. And all of your ways acknowledge him. How about so? And he will direct your paths. Uh, trust in the Lord with all of thine heart. I got to say that again. Uh, and lean not to thine own understanding. In all of thy ways, I acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. Having tried all, now I say 
Yes. And I'm going to tell you, I was stubborn just like the prodigal son. Now let me go on and turn over the scripture for a moment and show y'all Dan. You know, um, like I said, went from here to here. I was up there and I went up down here and I said, Lord, where did, maybe I never preached this, ever asked this question before, Lord, where did it all go wrong? Oh, man, I ain't preaching sure about amen lights. Like, thank you, lights for being here with me. When did it all go on? He said, you tried to be the God of your own life. All right, all right. <sighs> mm -hmm. Scared me. You know, I, uh, I wasn't always one to operate legally. There were some things that I was involved with and doing, and I knew good and well. Had I continued the way I was going and stayed committed where I was at, I probably would not be freely here talking amongst you all. But I had to ask the Lord, I said, Lord, show me the way. Yes. Clearly the way I've been going is not it. <laughs> show me the way. Lord, I'm tired of being without, right? And I also don't want to go to jail either. <laughs> so Lord, show me the way. Amen. And he says, seek you first yeah. the kingdom of God yeah. and all of his righteousness. Yeah. And all of these things shall be added on to you. Trust in the Lord. See, I know that's not my message. But I hope somebody here in this place gets this here. Trust in the Lord. Having tried all, now I say yes. And verse 14. Oh, no, sorry, verse 16. And he would fain have his belly filled with the husk that the wine that the swine did eat, and no man gave on to him. Do you know there's a certain point when you get out of the will of the Lord that even you 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 don't even qualify for blessings when you're out of order. All right. It'd be certain things that you were supposed to get, they'll remove your name because you ain't in the right place with the Lord, the right place with your church, the right place when you gotta put God first. I mean, I see. Got clap your hands, give God praise. You have to put God first. It gotta be first. <laughs> and he came to himself. And he said, I will arise and go unto my father. Having tried all, now I say yes. Having tried all of the troubles of 2020 and all the troubles of 2022, having tried all of the perversions of the world and having to try all the trickery of the world, having tried the slot machines, having tried the card games, having tried how fast I think I can move a pack to the left and to the right, having tried all my game and all of my strength, I have found everything those things have in common is they are subject to the will of God and when God releases his glory and when God releases his power nothing shall stand in the way of the love of God what then shall separate us from the love of Jesus not death and not life having tried all now I say yes Having tried all of the troubles uh, of 2022, yeah. having tried all of these issues, uh, having taken all of these problems and issues, I have found one thing to be consistent, uh, and that is the love of Jesus. Uh, I have found that friends will leave. Uh, I have found uh, that money will be high one day, uh, and money will be low the next day. Uh, but the Spirit of the Lord uh, will always be there. Uh, Having tried all, now I say yes. Yes to his will and yes to his way. I want to tell you that the yes that you have to have is not always going to feel good. It's not always going to be comfortable. But when it gets done with you, you will see the greater purpose of your life. When it gets done with you, you will see the greater glory in your life. Put not your trust in man, but all, put all your trust in the Lord. For the Lord will make a way out of no way. When my heart is overwhelmed in the Lord 
will pull up a standard. He is a rock that is greater than I. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them out of them all. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Have you tried all? Now I say yes. Having tried all, now I say yes. Y'all give God praise in here one time. I only have 10 more minutes. I promise you I wouldn't go preach long. Because <laughs> I believe when the Holy Ghost is there, yeah. you ain't got to be here for two, three hours yeah. to God to move. God can heal your body just like that. Ah, just out of an idol from my side. Lord, he can regulate blood pressure, regulate diabetes, cancel cancer, cancel chronic illnesses in the name of having tried all. Now I say yes. And as I take my seat, I would like to invite to you another Holy Ghost witness to the stand. I'd like to invite the lady with the issue of blood. You see, she had this condition 12 long years. And it didn't seem right. It was going to get bad for her. But she came to herself just like the prodigal son. And she said, if I can only touch but the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. Do I have anybody in here that is ready to be made whole? Clap your hands and give God praise in here. If you know that your way is not the way, but it's only his way that's the way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The Lord is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. No man can come unto the Father unless they go through Jesus. Clap your hands and give him praise in here. Rick Ho, come on. Give us so ho. Rip out in any of my son. Now y'all didn't warn me that y'all leaders pray like that in this poor pit. It is fire up here. It, <laughs> Lord have mercy. And I can see the mothers, they pray and pray down the fire of the prior of God in here. And so I'm telling you, that's the anointing that make preaching easy. I, I wouldn't preach nowhere else. But told you. <laughs> Having tried all, now I say yes. So like I said in my closing. <laughs> She said, if I could just but touch the hem of his garment. She, just like the prodigal son, had to come to herself. But watch the parallel. The lady had a lot of money. He most some up. And she didn't get healed until she drained all her resources. In the process of searching for an answer, that only God can do. Just like the prodigal son. He didn't come to himself until he lost it all. I would hope that and I hear him today, you don't have to lose it all. No, no, no. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> Having tried all. Now I say yes. I gotta close. I don't even need the organ today. Hallelujah. God done moved already. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still all of that. If I had one more parable, and I promise you I'm done. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty <laughs> sat on the wall. And Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. How you know, All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. But one day Humpty Dumpty met Jesus. And when he met Jesus, he began to pick up every shell. He began to pick up every broken piece. And he began to mend it together for his glorious plan. I don't know about you, but me and Humpty Dumpty, I'm a similar testimony. One day, I was sitting high, and my own life knocked me off the wall, and the presence of God put me back together again. So I don't know if that's you, but if that's any of y'all in here, stand up and give my praise at this time. Having tried all, now I say yes. I return home where the glory is. I return home where my restoration is. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Having tried all, now I say yes. God bless you. Have a smile on you. Amen.